Welcome to Lisa Marie's Cooking Live. I am going to make an amazing antipasto salad. And this salad is so yummy, you will want to eat it all week long. And you can. It's easy to store in your fridge. You can take it and package it, bring it to work with you, and have this salad all week. And who's ever wanted to have a salad the entire week? Well, this antipasto salad is going to be one that you will want to enjoy all week long. And I will show you exactly how to enjoy that all week long. Thank you so much for joining the broadcast. Does anybody like salami, tortellini, cheese, mozzarella cheese, olives, and all that yummy stuff? artichoke hearts. We are going to make a salad using all of the above. Thank you so much for joining the broadcast. Remember, if you have not subscribed to Lisa Marie's Cooking Live, hi Dreama, in your upper right hand corner, you want to click live subscribe. Don't forget to share the broadcast right below. You can do it while we're on the broadcast and invite your friends to come on over and find out how to make an antipasto salad. And we're not paying attention to all of that. Anyway, <laughs> he loves this salad. This is absolutely one of the favorite salads in our household. Thank you so much for joining the broadcast. Don't forget to like the broadcast. Like the broadcast. Don't forget to like the broadcast. And I am so happy that you're here. Hey, eating cheesecake right now when I should be eating <laughs> Yes. Hey, Monique. Hey to you. Thanks for joining the broadcast. Share the broadcast with your friends. Tell them to come on over and watch Lisa Marie cooking live here in the kitchen. Although, interesting, I'm not actually cooking anything right now. The only thing that I did cook was I um, boil, boiled my antipasto. Well, not my antipasto, my little tortellinis. These cute little things, tortellini pasta. Oh, and I fill them with there. Well, I didn't fill them, but somebody else had a genius idea to fill these with cheese. So it's cheese filled tortellini pasta. And we're going to use that. I love pasta salads. I was inspired today by my mom. Shout out to an amazing woman, my mom. Thank you, Mom. They're having pasta salad today, and they're doing theirs with some chicken and some broccoli and cauliflower. Some really good antipasta. Well, not antipasta, but they're putting it on pasta. I'm doing an antipasta. So let me show you what I have going, and this is a salad that you will definitely want to eat all week. I promise. It's just that good. All right, I have quite a few ingredients prepared already. Um, one thing is tomatoes. One have some tomatoes. Um, this is marinated mozzarella cheese balls that I've cut in half. Look at how yummy those are. Mm, they are marinated mozzarella cheese balls. I have marinated artichoke hearts. Hi, Brenda. Thanks for joining. Happy Sunday to you. I have some olives, some filled I have some salami, and the salami, I cut that in half also. And I went to the store today, and they had baby Bellas, and they were so nice. Look, y'all. I said, we're going to add some of those to our salad. Um, and what else? I have some spring mix that we're going to use this for our salad. And that's about it. So let's go. I'm going to show you how to put this pasta salad together. I was going to make a chicken pasta salad, but making a casserole instead. That sounds delicious, Monique. All right. So what I want to do is I'm actually going to take my tomato. And I just want to take it and cut it in half this way this is aroma tomato that I'm using I'm just cutting it in half and then I turned it over and I'm gonna cut it again in four so I've got like four pieces nice sized chunks of tomato 
And I am going to do that with this piece as well. Just cut it in half like this. And I like, you don't have to, you could totally eat this part, but I just take it and cut the little tip off like that. <laughs> you know, just so that I'm not seeing that part. That's just a little thing that I have, but you can totally eat all of that. Just pop the whole thing right on in. Okay. So I am also going to cut my mushrooms. And whenever you are going to clean your mushrooms, you basically, you can, you can eat this part. There's nothing wrong with eating this part. But I just pop it off. And you can take a damp cloth or a napkin and just wipe. That's it. You don't want to rinse these off. You don't have to. And I'm going to take those and just cut it in half. I mean, it looks kind of chunky. I mean, I think these are kind of big, so I'm going to cut those again. So let's see. I cut them in half, and then I cut the halves. So I cut them in quarters, and now I'm cutting them again. And I've got a few, quite a few mushrooms, so we're going to cut all of those. And we're making a hearty salad, so it's not going to be skimpy. It's actually going to be pretty, pretty filling, a lot of vegetables in it, and a protein. You can totally add grilled chicken to this if you want to. Um, I have grilled chicken, and who knows, maybe later this week I'll add some grilled chicken also. But... For now, I am going to add just my salami. Now, I prefer to use the cherry tomatoes instead of these or heirloom tomatoes instead of these because once you make your salad, again, it can stay in the fridge all week. The only thing that I would not add if you're going to keep it in the fridge all week are like aroma tomato. I would use cherry tomatoes or heirloom tomatoes instead of this, and then this pasta salad is good in the fridge all week. And you can take it if you want to use a mason jar to put all of the ingredients inside of a mason jar and then take your lettuce and put your lettuce in a separate container. That would be perfect. You can use uh, romaine lettuce as well. It doesn't have to be a spring mix. Well, I'm using a spring mix salad because that's what I bought today. And I'm using Roma tomatoes because that's what I had um, available to me. So I didn't go out and buy some extra tomatoes for my antipasto salad. All right, now, after I've done that, that is it. We are done. We are going to start putting our antipasto salad together. So we have our pasta, tortellini pasta. It's a three cheese tortellini pasta. Um, when you buy marinated mozzarella cheese balls, it has a really nice um, oil that it's marinated in. And we're going to just dump all of that in here. Okay? All of the oil. You do not have to add any salad dressing to this. This salad, because of the oils, the marinated oils, it's going to make your salad taste amazing. And this is our artichoke hearts. And with the artichoke hearts, if you have a really big piece, just cut it. So it's a bite-sized piece. And you're going to dump that in with all of the marinated oils as well. And then we'll take our olives. And I'm using about a good cup of everything here. And you're going to take, we love olives here. And this is going to make it real colorful too because it's pitted, I mean, olives with the pimento in the inside. We are going to take our salami. It was very thin sliced salami. I guess this is the size of like a medallion kind of. It's so good. I want to just eat a piece right now. We're going to put that here. And we are going to dump in our mushrooms. And we're going to take our tomatoes. What I like to do with my tomatoes is I like to put a little salt and pepper on them. So I'm going to put some pepper and some salt. And then just take my tomatoes, because I love salt and pepper on my tomatoes. I love to have that bite of salt and pepper when I'm eating a tomato. Anybody want some tomatoes? I could eat just this as a salad by itself. I love fresh tomatoes with salt and pepper. 
And that's all you want to do. Just put a little salt and pepper on them. Yum. And we're going to dump that in here. Once you have all of that together, we are going to just toss. And we'll toss all of our pasta, our salami, olives, artichokes, mushrooms. We're tossing all of our ingredients together. And remember, we have all of the oils from our marinated um, artichokes and our marinated mozzarella cheese. Okay, so now that our salad is tossed, this right here can go in your fridge. Believe it or not, it has so much flavor. You want to make sure you get all of your meat tossed in there too. And incidentally, what I did was I separated the salami uh, just to make sure that it wasn't going to all stick together when I toss it in here. Now, let me show you what we're going to do. Look at our salad. Does that not look yummy, delicious? And you haven't seen everything that I'm going to do yet, but this is our salad. This is going to be so good, y'all. So what I like to do is find yourself a really nice plate. I love big old salad bowls. So I'm going to put some of my lettuce in here. And what I'm doing right now, this is probably going to feed about, this, this will feed at least, it's great party food too. Hi Minerva, thanks for joining. Looks good, huh? It is. This is one of my all-time favorite salads. So what you do is you just put some of your spring mix in your bowl, okay? And then you take the antipasta, pasto, and you just put it on your salad like so. Make sure you have some of everything in here. All of our mushrooms and our salami and our tomatoes. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, this is going to definitely go down good. All right, and then what I do is, you can just leave it just like that if you want to serve it. Hi, Lisa, thanks for joining. If you want to serve it for a party, it's perfect just like that. Don't you know that your guests are going to be so excited when you serve them an antipasto salad? Does that not look delicious? Yes, yes, yes. And it tastes delicious, too, and you saw how easy that was to prepare, right? Okay, so now all I'm going to do is toss my salad. Just toss it. You don't have to toss it a whole lot, but I want to make sure that the oils get on my lettuce. And now we are in business. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to taste this. All right. So now we've mixed it up. There's oil on our lettuce. <laughs> Look at that. Anybody want an antipasto salad? Well, you can have this salad. You can have this salad all week. The only thing that you need to do is take the antipasto part that's this part right here. You can put this in like a mason jar, a Tupperware container, um, store it in your refrigerator, or you can divide them individually in mason jars. Just fill the mason jar all the way up to the top. And then take you a bag of lettuce, your favorite lettuce. You can use a romaine lettuce. I'm using a spring mix because I like a spring mix with this salad. And you take your salad, Mix the antipasto mix and your lettuce, bring it to work, and then toss it all together. Mm. Believe me, everybody in your office is going to want some of that salad. And it's so easy to make in advance. You can make that on a Sunday. Have it all week at work. Okay, let me show you what else I'm going to do because we're going to have that salad in just a minute. So what I have is I actually have some tea. I boiled some fresh tea bags. Move a couple of items. So I boiled some fresh tea. I have it in here. 
Lisa, if we miss the recipe when you made it, do you post it anywhere? I can do that. Would you like me to do that? Normally I don't, but I'll do that for you, Lisa, for sure. Don't forget to share the broadcast. Invite your friends to come over and watch me prepare an amazing antipasto salad. I'm going to taste it in a minute. And a really good tea. And I want to show you how to prepare this tea. So I use two bags of, of the big tea bags. I used two bags and I made some tea. So what I like to do with my tea is for my lemon, you know I don't like to waste the zest of my lemon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel the zest off my lemon like so. You got to get you one of these. It's a little zester. Just peel your, peel your zest off so you don't waste it. There's a lot of yummy flavor there and it has oils. See how it shines? There's oils in the um, zest of the lemon that give such a great flavor to your tea, your water. Um, so I like to just peel all the zest off my lemon. Um, and what I will do is I will peel the zest off of my lemon whenever I'm getting ready to use lemons and store them in the freezer. And whenever I want to have flavored water, all you have to do is take some of the zest out of the freezer Stick it in your water, your water bottle. You can take that to work with you too. Um, so what we're going to do, since we've zest all the zest off that lemon, I am now going to take the juice out of it. Um, you can just squeeze it if you want. I like these little juicers. <laughs> so I can get most of the juice out of my lemon. All right, here we go. What are y'all doing today on Sunday? It's hot outside, but it's not rainy and gloomy. Uh, it's rainy and gloomy in a few other places, so we are blessed to have some sunshine today. All right, let's see here. So after I take the juice out of my lemon, I'm just using the juice of one lemon. I am going to pour that here in my container of tea, just fresh brewed tea. And uh, then what I like to do is I buy this stuff all the time, syrup. I buy different kinds. I do pomegranate. I'll do cherry, black cherry, raspberry, strawberry. And I like to add these in with my teas. Um, so you can get them at like your, I know Marshalls and TJ Maxx have them. Um, I purchased this one at a restaurant uh, supply house. Um, so I got a really good price on it, but you can definitely find it at your Marshalls. Hi, Emily. Thanks for joining. Yuck. Stuck at work watching you and getting hungry. <laughs> so I'm just going to put half a cup. I'm using half a cup. There you go. I don't know if you can see that good. Half a cup of this syrup. It's really sweet. So I'm only using half a cup of syrup, and I'm also going to use, I should have done my sugar first. I'm going to use half a cup of sugar. So let me get another um, measuring cup. You don't need a whole lot of sugar in this tea because we're going to have our lemon zest in here, and the longer it sits in the fridge, the better the flavor is going to be for your tea. Relaxing at home in the Bronx. Hey, <laughs> I bet your weather is really nice up there too, Minerva. So I am gently going to just stir this around because it's pretty full to the top. But I can tell you that it is loaded with some delicious flavor, especially with this pomegranate syrup in it. Some fresh squeezed lemon. It's going to be good. Make yourself some tea. It's a little different, you know? And actually, I am used to drinking my tea without sugar, period. But we're adding some flavor today. And then, we'll just take our zest and put it in. And believe it or not, this is going to make it taste yummy. It's going to taste good already. So I'm going to add some ice in my cup. Give me a second, my glass. And we are going to pour some tea.
Doesn't that look good? Mmm, that's a pomegranate tea. And now what we're going to do is prepare our salad. So I have all of this yummy salad right here, and I'm just going to serve it in my bowl. And you can decide how you want to eat it, but I like to take it and just put it in a bowl, like one serving size. And I am going to enjoy this. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Look at how much is still left. There's such a, look, it's a lot left. I mean, it's a lot of salad. A lot, a lot, a lot of salad. All right, let's see here. Let me grab my fork, y'all. I know y'all want to know how it tastes. It tastes delicious. I can tell you that. My coworker Abel says it looks delicious and he can't wait to try our... <laughs> You have to try the recipe. It's very easy to prepare. Look. Just look at that. This is an antipasto salad, and you can have it all week at work. You want to grab a piece of your salami. I like to get some of the tortellini, too. Look at that. And some lettuce. And with the spring mix, I like the variety of lettuce that it has in it. And let's go for a taste. Mmm. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so good. Mmm. That's good. Oh wow. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Mmm. 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 Got to wash it down with some tea. <clears throat> perfect. <coughs> that is perfect. <coughs> Went down the wrong pipe. <clears throat> but what you could do with all the ingredients that I just gave you, <coughs> excuse me, for your antipasto salad. You can actually make an antipasto kebab. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. <coughs> Excuse me, I better drink some more tea. Mm. Yes, yeah, so the same thing that we did for the antipasto salad, you can do that for antipasto kebabs. And I like to serve the kebabs for parties, but I can tell you, if you're ever invited to a party and they want you to bring something fresh, bring a salad, bring the antipasto salad. The salad is going to be amazing. Your guests are going to love it. They will want the recipe, I promise you. This is a die-hard salad. And you can have it all week. It'll stay fresh in your fridge all week. And as I mentioned, put it in mason jars. You can take it and put it in mason jars. Who's going to make the salad? Do tell. <laughs> I know Lisa's going to make it. But remember to share the video so others can know how to make this amazing pasta, antipasto salad. I call it my fantabulous antipasto salad because it is. And if you have not done live subscribe subscribe in the upper right hand corner of your screen if you hover over it you may see the live subscribe button I think it depends on whether you're on a smartphone or on a tablet the other thing is you want to like this video I love it when my viewers like the video it helps my ratings to go up yay because I do love what I do. I love sharing what I do with you so you can learn how to prepare amazing, delicious food in your kitchen from my kitchen to yours. But I hope that you've had an amazing Sunday. Remember to always keep God first. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow night on the broadcast. You don't want to miss it. I'm going to announce what I'll be preparing tomorrow. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you. Bye, y'all. Have a good rest of the evening. Enjoy your family and get plenty of rest. Bye.